everybody, welcome back to my channel. You join me today for another eventing vlog live from Sazzy's, well, Leo's stable, batting the Zaz up for our event. Later today, we are going to Oxstalls. Um, I haven't, I'm not sure, I think I've been there once before with the Zaz actually. I've been there with Harry. Um, but yeah, I think me and Tazzy have been there once before. Apologies for this angle. I'm not sure, I can't quite see like, where I am in the frame. Um, but I've got quite a hectic weekend. I'm going out tomorrow with Hugo and there's just a lot going on. So this morning has been pretty busy and I don't really have time to stand and film an intro. So I'm doing it now whilst Plating the Zaz up. So I think it's about quarter to 11. I'm leaving at half 11. I've done her stud holes. I've given her a bit of a hot cloth room over. Luckily, because we were out last weekend, she stayed pretty clean. Um, and yeah, it's a bit of a weird way that we're getting to the event today, basically. Because Zaz is going in her normal lorry with my aunt, and I'm driving separately just because of things that are going on with the other ponies and stuff. It's too complicated to explain, but it's just made it all a little bit hectic to plan and get ready. So I've had to get all of Zaz's stuff out of our lorry and ready out there to go into her lorry when it arrives. So yes, just started plaiting her up as you can see. Hopefully I'll have time to get everything done. Um, it's nice and warm today, not as warm obviously as last weekend, which is very nice. Uh, yeah, I think that's all to fill you in on at the moment, so I'm going to carry on flattening her up. Okay. Off she goes, she's loaded up, she's not too happy about leaving Twist, but See you when we get there, Zazzy. So weird not going with her. <laughs> anyway, to go and get my dog now and get in the car. Oh, I have arrived. Managed to find Zazzy. She's just chilling in here. You good? I'm out of breath because I ran across the lorry park. But anyway, Whew, we're going to go and walk cross country now. So here we go, about to go down the centre line. Now, apologies in advance, I am editing this from on holiday, so I don't have the dressage sheet next to me, so I don't have all the marks, but I do remember some of the marks, and I still thought it'd be good to do a voiceover so you can 
understand what I was kind of thinking and feeling at the time. So for this first centre line, I remember we got a 7.5, which is good because I always try and scrape as many marks as possible and the centre lines are ones that I really do try and pull the marks in. And then we had to cross the arena here. And I think the majority of marks in this test we got 6.5s for. And she was feeling particularly lazy this day, which I will go into more detail back in the vlog after this dressage test. As you can see, I'm having to work pretty hard to keep her going forward. Here we're actually going down the three quarter line. You can't really see from this angle. And then we turn left and at C you have to do a 15 metre circle. Um, and I think the shape was good. Again, I think we just got 6.5s for most and a few 7s dotted here and there. Um, obviously she does look quite lazy, but she's kind of in an outline, you know. I remember thinking, coming across, we cross over the centre of the arena again here. I remember thinking, you need to shorten your reins because your reins are too long. You can see my hands moving around. That's the one thing that I don't like. My reins are too long. So it kind of is just encouraging my hands to move around. She is very, very tricky though, like it's hard to know what she's like until you have ridden her in a dressage test. So now we're just mirroring that going up the three quarter line on the right. And when we get to the top, doing a 15 meter circle at C the other way. I think this way was slightly better. She's not as long as on the left rein. It's just all a bit laboured, which is typical for Zaz. Here we are just doing a change the rain, and I'm pretty sure we got seven for this, so that was good. I think we're cantering here. Yep. Not too bad of a transition, but here she's being lazy. <laughs> and then we canter all the way up and then we do a 20 metre circle off the I don't, F, H line, is that it? If It's like not at the top. I'm not explaining this very well. It's a bit of a weird test. I have done it once before. So you're kind of going between those two corner markers, You that's where your 20 metre circle is. And then you have to do a weird change of the rein here with a trot just after the centre line, which I think was okay. She anticipated a bit with her back legs. And then we go into the walk, and I was actually pleased with her walk um, in this test, her medium walk. She took quite even steps with her back legs. Sometimes she goes a bit short, but she actually did well this test. And then free walk, she stretched out more than in our last test. So we go to X, and then at X we turn left and go back to the other corner so again it's just a bit weird this test she could have probably stretched down a bit more there but she was taking larger paces and here you had to collect her up because you had to trot at the marker um, ready for canter in this next corner so I'll try and explain it slightly better you have to canter all the way down and then it helps that it doesn't help that I don't know the marker letters off by heart here in this corner I turn across the bottom of the arena before the bottom and then you start your 20 meter circle and then at F you turn across again to K and then K E you canter and then at E you turn to do your short diagonal trotting after the center line here she doesn't look too bad and then we just trot round and at E again we do a half left meter half ten meter <laughs> circle left onto the center line to halt at G and the halt was good I was pleased with the halt again we got a seven for this so that was good Uh, dressage is all done and Jemima's done her board over here. That's what Zaz coming back off to um, look at the faces to 
pretty. So I think we put an okay face. It wasn't too bad. Um, what are we saying, Joe? We can change it if we want. Yeah. I think I think a slight smile. <laughs> trying to balance it up. A slight smile. It wasn't too bad. Um, she looked all right. She, that is a, barely a smile. She was definitely more lazy than at Barbary. Um, well, the pen's, wait, the pen's hey, running I out. Pen. But yeah, we have now walked show jumping. So come back to the lorry. This is not going to stay on the bench. Come back to the lorry to get ready for show jumping. Of course, it's nice. It's quite big, but at least that will encourage me to ride forward. And we will just see how it goes. Jemima's on chief vlog duty to get fitted. She did very well with the dressage. Oh, she's just spilt packing vans everywhere. I was also going to try and estimate what um, what we think I've scored for dressage. Jemima, do you know how dressage scoring works for eventing? Yes, I do. Okay, so what do you think I got? Bearing in mind, I normally like to try and get 35 and below but we haven't we've only achieved that once this season what do you think i think we'll get 35. you think 35 i think that's very kind of you because i think yeah what you did do really well she wasn't, thank you oh gosh. You, you, you needed the horse it went loose well. oh yeah when we were walking the um show jumping just now there was a loose horse that had escaped from the lorry park that had gone all the way over to dressage wait so whilst jemima was counting out pound coins i think potentially 34.9 35 34.9 i think 35.6 or something i think you'll be well i don't know Here you go. Hello doggies. Hello doggies. Hello. 
doggies, doggies, one, two, three doggies. Come Zazie. Apologies everybody for the radio silence after um, show jumping. It was rather hectic um, till to get ready for cross country. It was like less than half an hour after I show jumped before my cross country time. So it was a little bit go, go, go. So I am now debriefing, we are home. It is the same evening and me and Jay have quickly popped on um, Hugo and Twister for a hack. So this was part of the manic way of getting to the event. Tomorrow, these two ponies are going for a fun ride, cross country ride, and Twister has come for a sleepover and Twister is normally at Zazie's yard, so it was all a bit complicated. So I have um, rushed back to get them ridden before tomorrow's fun ride because they are both um, needing a little bit of a leg stretch. So we are doing our event debrief from aboard Hugo this evening and uh yeah where was i yeah show jumping it was quite oh yeah dressage jemima was gonna say we knew our dressage so we did our guesstimates mine was 35.6 jay what was yours again 35 and auntie lucy i can't i don't know if it was in the vlog but hers was 34.9 she was very like optimistic well she was being very kind but we actually got 33 point what was it Point four, so a big improvement. We got 36 of Barbary, and like I say, I always want to try and get 35 and below on Pizzazz, so I am really pleased with 33.4, really pleased. Um, and I picked my, Hugo, don't trot. I picked my sheet up, so I probably have already done a voiceover with some of the marks and things from that. And then, yeah, on to show jumping. It was a big track, much bigger than Barbary, and like I said at the Barbary vlog, I've just been trying to ride a little bit better in the show jumping and not get too tense. And today she jumped so well. Um, you can catch up with him, okay. She jumped so, so well. She wasn't flat. We met all the jumps on a really good stride. I just don't know what happened at fence, whatever fence that was. One, two, three, four, five, six, six A. She had it with her front legs. I probably will have watched it a lot of times more by the time this vlog goes out but so far I've watched it over and um, it just looks like she doesn't, she hasn't picked her front legs up enough, which is quite rare for her. Normally it's her back legs, she's a bit lazy. So we were very, very frustrated about that because she jumped really well and we probably didn't deserve that clear round today, but never mind. Hopefully it will come again one day. And then yeah, very quick turnaround on cross country, less than half an hour until my allotted time. So it was all go, go, go and um, Jay and Auntie Lucy went straight on the course, uh, so didn't get any warm up footage, sorry for that, but she was really good. My phone just very helpfully cut me off, ran out of storage. She jumped very, very well, and there was that one combination that I was slightly concerned about was the houses at 4A and B. They were extremely offset on an angle on two strides, and a lot of people were having issues. Um, and Jay got a very good shot of those. So you would have seen, she jumped it really, really well. Duck to go under the tree. Um, so yeah, she flew around the cross country and we got to like the last field and I had a minute left on my clock and I was thinking, oh, perfect, about a minute. That will be enough time to get around this field. And then we were coming over the last, well, the second to last wall. And I was thinking, crikey, I've only got like 15 seconds. I'm not gonna get back in 15 seconds. So I did push her but we finished over the time my watch said five seconds. So I was absolutely like gutted, you know, we shouldn't not make the time at a hundred. We've easily make the time. So I was also quite confused why we hadn't made the time because um, yeah, we always make the time. And I'd gone the same speed that I normally do. I know Zazie's like speed for a hundred. So I was just so cross with myself and that's why I didn't really film anything straight after because I was really, annoyed with myself thought i'd kind of let her down a bit um but actually we debriefed gathered our thoughts had a look on eventing scores i need to duck i know had a look on eventing scores and only four people in the entire section i'm not sure about the other hundred section but in my section only four people had got the time so i think they must have been a really tight time so it made me feel slightly better. Um, we only got two time faults because we were only five seconds over. And cherry on top of the cake is that we finished ninth in our section. I need to duck again, thank you Jemima. <laughs> yeah, we finished ninth, which means we got our top 10 placing. 
which is what I wanted because it means that we get a few more points towards the um this bride always very overgrown towards the league tables a twister says what is that um past this spooky thing um yeah so absolutely over the moon that is like the end re result i try not to put too much pressure on me and zazzy but yeah i'm so thrilled with her i'm a little bit disappointed about the time but they obviously had set it tight i am a bit frustrated about the pole because she jumps so well but big improvement on the dressage today and on the show jumping we jumped really well and yeah top 10 placing so really happy to get a few more points towards um the league tables and my arm is aching now i have blabbed for far too long we're going to carry on having a nice little hack and i will actually see you guys tomorrow for hugo's fun ride because i will be documenting that a bit i'm not sure when this vlog will go up i need to put my barbary vlog up it's ready go right joe it is ready to go up i've been so busy i need to put it up like this evening or tomorrow but i hope you enjoyed this vlog and i will see you in the next one bye